All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. That means that we are just playing uh, some straight-up Cancer Magician Girls. So I take the deck a little bit more, editing a couple more uh, traps, and you already know, it's, it's just going to be some trap-heavy shenanigans. But it's nice to actually get some monsters, you know. I think the monster count is at 11, so I'm going to go ahead and set this, set this, card of demise. You already know how it is. Card of demise, Magician Girls. Let's go. Uh, got them called the haunted and stuff. Wow, wow, dude, her and her, and now I gotta pitch them. Like, out of all the things you. I'm like, I wrote like 11 monsters, drew all my monsters. Like, alright, awesome. So, I did not plus on that one. I guess I evened out, because played it. I mean, I got to see deeper into my deck, but I evened out. I played one card, saved one card, so. God damn it. I just hate when you just draw monsters out of card demise. The whole point of card demise is to draw into more background, more hatred, more stupidness. That because I'm playing a particular style of deck, I get to fuck you up. It's, it's it's fair, right? It's totally fair. Ah, so that's your normal summon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so you look at the title. A while Professor appears. Uh, yeah, she actually showed up. She actually showed up. You know, after complaining and saying all of us complaining, reporting her to the dean and all of that, she finally shows up. After you know, we're pretty much into week three. So I'm saying some, some saying something from Binion Cost all the way to week three out of four weeks. Like, come on, come on, you know. I can't even say that. Uh... Wow, so you're just gonna go and do that? I thought possibly he was going to. Uh... Wow, I'm just drawing all my monsters. Uh, I guess if this card is destroyed by battle by card effect. Could target up to three magician girls with different names. That's my hand. I think I only have two. No, I have all three. I three different different magician girls. So Apple, Apple can do her job. <laughs> so I guess I'll just go ahead and poke poke. Why not? And if you kill my apple... What does apple summon? Apple summon for my hand. Alright, so if you kill my apple, then I'll just get my monsters back, but... Did she count herself? So I just uh, took a target up to three other other magician girls with different names. Okay. I was kind of wondering if she could grab herself back, but I guess it'd be kind of dumb. I mean, Apple's one of the worst magician girls. She really is. Like, Apple and Lemon are kind of... So, when you're probably like, blah, 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 blah. I think I might have to strike him. I think, because I don't have really anything to deal with his fucking big booty, so I'm just gonna say no to that. You can just take the 16. Alright, come on, I'm summoning little magician girls. You can calm down with your fucking big old swordsman. <laughs> so, I know you got Galaxy Soldier. You're gonna go Galaxy Soldier, pitch, special search, spit, special, you know. Do all them shenanigans. Why are you loading? Why are you loading? Why'd you approach? Did you just reach? I, mean, I thought he would have the Galaxy Knight. I really did. I was like, I was like, I was thinking. I was like, he probably has the Galaxy Knight if he didn't search it. If he, if he wasn't gonna search it with Galaxy Soldier, because we already know that's the Skyco combo right there. That Galaxy Knight with the pitching the Gal the dragon. Is that rank 8, easy rank 8 play. So who are you going to attack? You attack Choco and then get fucked up, or you can attack uh, Apple and then I can grab all my shit back. So so because you killed Apple, I get to go hella plus. One. Is it special summon? Why do I get the special summon? What do you mean special summon? Special summon. Like, I have a choice to special summon them? I thought I just added them to my hand. I get to special summon them. Apparently I get to special summon them. Okay. Like, why does it say special summon? I, I don't think so. I think that's just a typo on YGO's part. I think it's like, hey, you want to continue adding to the hand? Add to the hand? Add to the hand? I mean, if they get all special summon, then awesome. No, see? So why the fuck do you ask me? If I guess they were asking if I wanted another target, but why'd you say special summon? Like, good, good typo. Oh my god, my fucking... My fucking uh, virus protection popped up. What? Turned into another card of mine. Fuck, I guess. All right. And uh, the sad thing is, is that I'm gonna now start pitching some of these because <laughs> I need to get deeper into my deck. <laughs> yep. Can I only use the effect of her once per turn? Once per turn? Uh, no, it doesn't say that. So I can just normal summon another Choco, and the Choco can pitch again. <laughs> yeah. Like. Ah. Uh. More back row, more back row, wow. When you duality into a duality, all right. All right, so part of duality, no. You got a strike, like fuck my life points, I don't care. I don't care, fuck my life points. Cause I know you're not gonna attack me. 
our demise. There should be like barely any monsters left. Wow. Ugh. See, this is one of the reasons why I don't like running multiple duality. It's because you draw into multiple duality. So I got all, all my dualities and all my card demises in this duel. And then I got all my mirror forces. Like, I'm running quakings and yawnings. I didn't really get too many mirror forces. Let's I got this up, mirror force. So I know he's not going to attack me. That means I could probably go into like a rank four play next turn if I really want to. Or if he tries to do something, I can do my dark renewal, which you already know dark renewal is great. <laughs> nope, he's just going to be like, fuck it. Just fuck it. He's, if he's not going to do anything, I'm not going to do anything because... You already know I could fuck this man up. So I'm thinking Utopia, Utopia the Lightning. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Wait, no. Oh, okay. I was about to say, is it too late? Too late. Activate my effect. Pitch the berry. Draw a card. Like, Choco is like the, oh, the best card in this fucking deck. That's the way to Christ it is. Actually, you know what? Probably should have kept on, held on to the berry. Because if he happens to fuck up my Utopia, Utopia Lightning, then... I tried to conduct a special summon, which means, and I won't have any muscle to fill for my Dark Renewal. Mm. Uh, fuck it. If he has something, he has something. I still got Mirror Force, so I'm okay. It looks like maybe he's waiting for my Lightning. Cause I'm getting a delay, but it seems like he wants to wait till my Lightning su is summoned. I mean, it's not like I'm going to use my Utopia the Lightning effect anyway, so you know what? I'm just going to attack. And then go into Lightning in Phase 2. Because I at least want to get killed with Photon Thrasher. Because it really seems like he's waiting. He's waiting to hit, fuck up my Lightning. So if that's what you want to do, then you can do it in Main Phase 2 after I attack. Watch my law honest. Be like, oh, should I win Utopia Lightning? Like, okay. Yeah, like who the fuck attacks with Utopia, the Pro Utopia Prime, you know? But I really think that this card's going to be waiting. Waiting in the wait. Wow, he actually had it. He actually had it. I'm actually have to strike that. Like, wow, he actually had the Honest. So I guess I should have went to Utopia the Lightning. Wow, now your life points are all fucked up. Like, what the fuck number is that? Now something to fuck up my Utopia Lightning. There it is. There it is. Knew it. Knew it. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> ah, that's why I attacked first, because I wanted to kill that Thrasher. <laughs> That's fine, I'm still up on resources. I still got a card of mice too. Like that's a sad thing. I got a duality and a card of mice, so just go back to taking it slow and I go and I go plus. That's fair. <laughs> you already know these decks, these decks, these fucking card of mice, fucking decks. Where's my call of the haunted? Like I, I would like call of the haunted. There's call of the haunted. I want call of the haunted. Definitely call of the haunted. Uh I said I could play card of mice, but I don't think so. Not right now anyway. Two mirror forces. I'm all striked out and warning down. I think I used. Did I use all my strikes and warnings? Yeah, I did. I did. I mean, it's, a, it's it's not about life points. It's about resources in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So uh, I'll just end my turn and then call the haunted my uh, my Choco. And then if you think that you're gonna do anything, then I can have my Choco fuck you up. Wow. Cause you, you can just tell by the delay. You can just tell by the delay that that man wanted to fuck me up. That's fine. You can even out. I guess it's better than just having a maxi not doing anything in your hand, so. During any player's turn, sure, you could discard this card. Mission Girls monster you currently control. If they attack, monsters different name if you like. So, could I. Could I just game him with this? I'm not sure. I don't want to neg on it and not game, so I guess I'll just hold on to it. Oh, so he got himself a call of the haunted. So he can call haunted that galaxy soldier and get himself a nice searchy search. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll dark renewal. You'll still get your search, but I'm gonna turn into dark condition girl if you don't mind. But yeah, the teacher actually legitimately showed up after three weeks. Uh, she's like, oh well, I'm starting to grade your paper. That's fine. Uh, she hasn't graded her papers, just mostly our discussion. She's been really slow with grading, but. She's like, here, contact me with this number. Apparently, at the beginning of class, she gave us the wrong number. <sighs> like I said, I'm not sure if that's game, so I'm not sure if I even want to do it. Not even sure if I want to do it. Uh, if he comes after me, then I'll do it. But I, I seriously doubt it. I'm just not sure. I don't really feel like doing the math. I'll win eventually. <laughs> 
that's pretty much this deck is. I win eventually, but wow, this is supposed to show you. I point so many shit. I saw him this man so many times. <laughs> I mean, he's got the resources back. He's back in the duel, but I don't know. <laughs> Especially with my dark renewal to tag out again. It's like one of the main reasons why I run two dark condition girls, so I can dark renewal my dark condition girl with my dark condition girl, just in case. It summons from deck or carrier, but I can't dark renewal if I if I only have one dark condition girl and I already have her on the field. I can't dark renewal again, so I swear I'm two, so I can dark renewal into another dark condition girl to spot pop you or spot tribute you or whatever. It's you know it's it's like a good monarch storm for during your turn. So she gave the wrong number. Uh, she said email, but I still didn't see an email. Oh, so go ahead. And Trade in the Galaxy Knight, even though he seems like he'd be really great right now to go into Renegade play, but I guess he's like, nah, fuck it. So, I know you got a Galaxy Soldier. Okay. So, pitch. Wow. That sucks. <laughs> I caught that swift Regeki. <laughs> you guys, first time I saw a dragon Regeki, like, okay. I mean, I have Mirror Force, so. Like, this duel ain't over yet, sir. No, 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 not today. But that kind of sucks. <laughs> Another call to haunted, please. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Like, nah, I, I, I play Mirror Force, dude. Like, you don't get damage in. The only time I damage is if I hurt myself or I allow you to attack me. So. Yep, yep, you're just gonna scoop it up. Ah, see? How can Cardinal Wise deck so dumb? I'm just one up you. I win eventually. I'm in no hurry. Go into time. You already know that. We'll get another duel. Bear back. Alright, another duel. Another great duel of just one upping my opponent with the power of Cardinal Wise. <laughs> uh, this hand's not the greatest. Can normal summon Barry. Barry can get Michoko. Like, yeah, this, is, this hand is not the greatest. A duality warning you. I'll definitely take the warning. Like, <laughs> that's an easy choice. I said I could card demise, but I think I have too many cards in my hand right now, so I think I'll hold off. Set three. That next turn I can go Choco, pitch the berry, then card demise. Hopefully the warning will be able to hold him off this turn. Hopefully, or he tuntrishes it. What is this do? This card knows someone uh from your hand. Okay. So you're just gonna summon and then Synchro summon and then I'll hit you with the warning. You know I have the warning. Hey, that's the sad thing. You know I have the warning. Mm-hmm. I just want you to take an I just want you to nag. Like I could have warned the bamboo horse, but I want you to summon it from your hand. I want you to go into your synchro summon. So you already know. Oh. Kendama. Kendama's not really a threat. Like, I was waiting for a threat. Click pierce damage. Need to blah, 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 blah. No, that's fine. Kendama's fine. Because, I mean, he's just going to come back anyway, so I don't really care. So, Barry, you can summon a Machine Girl from my deck, right? And then the target will switch over to her. That one's pretty good. I mean, there's nothing that I can save myself with, but I mean, just the fact that I can summon a Magician Girl from my deck is pretty good. So, I mean, I can summon, like, Kiwi, and then Kiwi can die. Then I can revive her, because I think I will call the Haunted, and then my Magician Girls can't be what, targeted and destroyed by card facts. That's nice. So, you can just go ahead and attack Kiwi. That's fine. You can kill Kiwi. Oh, I guess it doesn't go change the attack. It still goes... It just summons the monster. I thought it did. Let's return your opponent. Could have the... No, and she just goes to defense position. Oh. Wow. Wow. Once again, destroying all of these fucking magician girls. Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> like, there's literally only like 11 monsters in this deck, and I just draw. Like, okay. So I guess I'll hold on to the apple. Ah, Quaking. That's exactly what I wanted. So, that's pretty much all I have right now. So I could have probably pitched the apple. That way, Choco will have something better to block with. But I, st I still have Quaking. I'll just set you down. 
So she said, oh, you cannot contact me by email. She still never gave the email, but whatever. At least the number is correct. So when I texted her, she texted me back, uh, saying, stating that I wasn't able to successfully find a special education class to observe. Like I emailed some teachers. I, th I found the papers, which she happened to put them in fucking week five, which gets on my nerves. I mean, week four, instead of week one for the field observation, but that's fine. I found them, uh, read one you do, just observe, interview, write an essay, that's fine. Uh, I emailed some teachers at Clark, but all of them want me to go, all of them, like all the special education teachers wanted me to go through. Ah, oh, send OK gum. Okay. Sure. OMK gum. I always call them OK gum. OMK gum. I guess. It's not really much of anything. So you just want to do that just to burn me for 500? That's fine. That's fine. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. There's really no point in overextending too much because you know that I have the warning, but hey, you do what you do. So, Apple doesn't even have nearly enough targets, so I'll probably end up pitching. Alright, well, there's definitely a crystal mess coming in my future. There's clearing. Ah, that's fine. My problem with Quaking is that I really don't have a great way of taking out his shit. I mean, once I set them down, go ahead and summon that and go into Crystal Meth, and then I'll warn you. Like, you, obviously, when you go into Crystal Meth, I'm gonna warn you that. Like, it's Crystal fucking Meth. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. You can catch this warning. I'll warning that. I'll warning that for 200. Well, 2,000. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and attack me. I'm gonna go ahead and attack my Kiwi. Kinda wanna save my Kiwi. Kinda wanna save my Kiwi. Yeah, I'll save my Kiwi. This Kiwi makes it so I can't be targeted to destroy my card effects. That's nice. That's nice. All my spellcaster type monsters. Oh, another call of the haunted. Cool. So, I mean, I really don't need Apple right now. She ain't doing shit. I want to get deeper in my deck. More back row, please. Another card of demise. All right. So I'll set that. Set that. I guess I'll attack, do damage first, then card of demise. I know this is stronger than your booty, which is only 16. I'm going to poke you for 16. And then at least I have something decent in the graveyard to summon back with Kiwi. So, wow, he actually plays the Wabaku. The Wabaku. The Wabaku saved him. Okay. Sure. Who the fuck plays Wabaku? Kermise. Ah, all of the cards. I guess I'll get rid of the Drowning. Because I don't think he'll be attacking me directly anytime soon. Yeah, I'm running Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare. Why not? Why not? <laughs> it's a good it's a good card. It really is. You spoke some of the monster I create the fact I destroy you, so. So she set up a point, like I don't have one week left for my observation, but you know what? She set it up real quick. She really did. Uh, pretty much I said I couldn't find one. She's like, I'll find one for you. Where Tyler Town do you live? And she set me up at an elementary school that's like right down the street from me. And uh, yeah, so I'll be observing there. Uh, so if I get a call in this video, I apologize. It's very important. I have to take it because I called the elementary school before recording this video and they were like, oh yeah, we, we, we heard. So we're going to go ahead and set it up and all that. So now he can't. Well, I mean, I guess he could attack Kiwi, but he can't attack Choco, because now I actually legitimately have something that can fuck him up. Because you're going to get halved. You summon from the graveyard and you get halved. It's not like you kill her and I don't have any more plays. Oh, fast. 2,000 booty. That sucks. Well, fast isn't going to activate his effect. That's the, that's the suck thing about Trap Trick Trap all Nightmare. So he is not activating the effect. There's nothing to activate right now. And he keeps on going, got the double yo-yo and the horse, and he just keeps on ripping out of the graveyard, keeps on sinking or something. Another crystal meth? Like these two in the crystal meth? <gasps> no, no. Like five. Nope, that's fine. I got another quaking for you. How did you like quaking? Dude, seriously. Step off. Sit down. Like, no, you're not attacking me. <laughs> so I guess I'll just leave this face down until I can figure out a way to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yay, I like this card. This card's good. It's actually what I needed. Uh, there's really not much to do right now. Not really. Is it gonna do any damage anyway? I kind of, I, I kind of thought I'd draw you. Kind of thought I'd draw you. Another one of you. So all the, if there's any monsters left in my deck, I'll probably grab. Yeah. So I, I can just set the bottomless. God, this 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 deck is just a one up. Oh, strike or the bottomless. That's that's a tough choice. I can only save one. I'd say the strike is a little bit stronger. I'd say strike is stronger than bottomless. So. The next turn I can handle by just using these two, going to like a next C, a rank four. You could die. You're still set. Oh, I forgot you had some kind of graveyard effect. Uh, add it to your hand. Wow, that's pretty good. You add your double yo-yo right back and go into another play. Oh, one of your banished ones. Sucks I have to pitch that bottom list, but... Yeah, everything else right now is pretty good. Dr. Dark Renewal, the Trap Trick, Triple Nightmare, Song Strike, Call the Haunted. Like, we're, we're sitting pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. So, I gotta observe that. It's a little bit more work than usual in the past weeks. So that's fine. You gonna go into another Sink or Summon play? Yes, you are. God damn. God damn. This <laughs> it keeps on keeping up with me. Like, the resources. I, I was hoping to you know, wither out his resources, but he keeps keeping up. And I think I want to go ahead and tag out. I can tag you out with Dark Renewal, Summon Dark Nutrition Girl, and then I could call the Haunted to Kiwi right back. So yours, mine. Then I want to call the Haunted. So and back the Kiwi, just in case he has a Regeki in his hand. Just in case. And did I miss timing off the Dark Renewal? Summon, because I interrupted it with the call of the haunted. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, then you can. Yeah, yeah. All right, good job, Daniel. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna get Dark Condition Girl. Nope. <laughs> That's fine. Go into Utopia. Utopia the Lightning. And Utopia Lightning backed up with back row. That's that's nothing to scoff at. I've been starting to put the prime in. Because his effect could be useful. I, I could do his effect right now, but... <laughs> and then slap on a lot. Means I can get a benefit out of his effect twice. Because why not? No. You can go back to the extra deck. I guess you might be summoned later. Sure. I guess I'll go ahead and set another Quaking. <laughs> Very much just one up my opponent. <laughs> he's, he's starting to powder out of resources now. Oh, now the resources are starting to dwindle. That's nice. Or he can get a shock surprise. Yep. Yeah, she can't be destroyed by card effect, so she won't be destroyed by the card effect of the Call of Haunted. I thought you, you thought you were gonna kill her with, by killing the Call of the Haunted, but nah. Nah. Uh Then that sucks that he could keep summoning Kendama back over and over and over and over and over. That sucks too. That's fine. I still have a call of the haunted, so I could just call the haunted the Utopia the Lightning back, so. My Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare isn't doing shit. I thought I was like, it's a pretty good card. It hasn't done shit the entire duel. He's not activating anything. He's just summoning and attacking. So. I said I could protect you with Quaking, but at this point, I'm just not sure if it's worth it. Like, I'll just, I'll just take the, I'll take the L. Save the Quaking for something when something's really dire. Yay, part of duality. I guess I should activate the Call of the Haunted during the end phase. Summon Utopia Lightning back. It's 
So, yeah, I've got to do an observation, essay, review, uh, interview questions. Wow, another shock surprise. Yep. This duel is actually legitimately getting annoying. I was thinking he was going to have another shock surprise. I really was. So, pop the Topia Lightning and something random. No, yeah, you can get rid of that nightmare. It wasn't doing anything anyway. Summon Kendama back, of course. Really wish there was a way for me to handle Kendama right now. Like, God, this duel is getting annoying because Kendama can keep summoning back. Shock the Pride, Kendama. Shock the Pride, Kendama. I'm quaking it. Because I want to save the strike. I don't want to drop too low where I can't strike anymore. Now, now who's the run running out of resources? Because I keep I keep taking negs. Like, he Shock the Pride, he uses one card to pop two of mine. That's, you know? So. That's just fantastic on his part. I'm the one taking the fucking L's. Someone Choco sets so called haunted. Like, and this can't can't do anything. I'll just keep it face down for a little while. Some of my Utopia Lightning pack next turn, and then he'll have yeah, he'll have a third shock surprise. I'll fucking I'll be done. I'll be done if he has a third one. Wow, he actually plays the fucking Pass Slinger. I don't see too many people play this card. I saw this card and I was like, yeah, I don't think it's that great, but hey, that's one way to, you know, get out of your fucking Kendama being set. This card is trippy summon, you can target one of your level 4 on this or something. Alright, so you're just gonna summon that back and end. Uh, have I used all of my dualities and cardamizes? One. Two, three. I used all of my, my duality and card of mines. One, two, two. At least two. So I might, I might draw into the third one. So that's just the, you know, it's just best in general just to call on to during the end phase. Mirror Force. That's fine. So I've been abusing this Utopia lately. Like, attack a Ryu, and then either one. If you revive and attack either one, I mean, it's not like you do anything. And then shock surprise, like. <laughs> He's just using monsters from his graveyard, so shock surprise just wrecking me, but I don't think he has any more monsters left. Speed right as well. Does this count? Does the Kendama count? And I still have a strike, so you could try to go into another synchro monster and take that swift neg. I'm just trying glad she's here, so this is the last week of this course and this class. Yeah, this course anyway. Once I'm done, I am done. <laughs> and I could uh move on to my next course for the next month, which I guess would be just as fun. Not really. You give up? You scoop? Cause at this point, I just I've been trying to one up you, but damn. Like Shock Surprise is not a terrible card as long as you have the, the Spear Art Monsters in Graveyard. Like, it's actually a really good card. Strike that. Yeah, that's my job, just to one up you. It's a card of demise deck. I got 20 something. Oh my god! Who the fuck plays three Shock Surprises? Alright. 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 Fucking wow! Uh, I've never, I've never seen a speedrun deck play three shock surprises ever. Like wow, wow, three, three, three. No one, no one plays, no one plays three. Plays three, three shock, three shock, like shock, like no one. God, the card is good. Like it's, it's. Oh wow! Oh, I forgot that I haven't seen Terra Top this entire fucking duel. Like. <laughs> I've been sitting here struggling, and then he fucking three shock surprised me three times, three times, my dog. Like, wow, did I use up all my call of the haunted? I think I think that's all my call of the haunted. It's like, I really don't have much of anything left. I got mirror force and drowning mirror force. I'm mirror force first. She's gonna go into Armadis. If you go in Armadis, that's it. That's GG. That's GG, like, wow. Sword, okay. 
Uh, talk about one of your banish value monsters out of your hand. I don't want you to do that. So I guess drowning would be better right now. I don't want you to add the cards back. Even though you still have that fucking Kendama. Strike. God damn. Fucking. I was thinking, I was like, what if he has a third shock? Get fucked up. That's what happens if he has a third shock. You get fucked. Thank Christ he didn't have Armadies. If he had Armadies, that would have that been game. And he could just keep on summoning Kendama back. That's the sad thing. I could strike him. I guess I'll save me a turn. Yeah, you just die, go back to the guy. I wish you would go away, Kendama. Like, you're driving me crazy. Where's my last card of demise? There it is. There it is, card of demise. <sighs> Can't do anything with Dark Mission Girl or the Aya Tamias. Like, that sucks. Then a useless strike. Like, that was probably one of the worst card demises I could ever ask for. Like, this this game is over. This game is over. I was trying to one up him, and he one up me by doing three shock surprises. I, I took the swift neg. Off of three shock surprises. I can mirror force him. Oh no, he's just gonna burn me. That's it. Wow. Oh wow. Wow. I, I was thinking I was gonna out resource him and him and he out resourced me. Wow. Three shock surprises, people. Do not call this card bad. Shock surprises is a great fucking card. Like holy shit. <laughs> you just plus one. Just banish target two cards. Pop them. Like just like wow. Alright. Alright, well, we're done here. I'm just glad the professor is finally here. I can finally get some work done. So, final week. I gotta write an essay, like usual. I gotta do my usual. The discussion, two discussion posts, the two replies, write the essay, take the quiz, which is, take the test, which is different. Usually it'd just be five true or false. I think it's like 50 this time, and this looks like half my grade. It's like more than 50%. Good thing I can generally find the answers online. So, yay, thumbs up for that. Like, I think the first one I got 100, the second one I got 80 because I missed one question. I, I didn't look too hard, like if I, if I really looked I could have got the right answer, but I was just like fuck it, you know. And then the last one, the third one I got 100, so I've been really finding these answers. It's literally just copy and paste the question to Google and it was some way, some shape, some form pop up, so yeah. So I'll probably do well on the quiz, um, the observation, the interview questions, and then one more essay of my observation, which is literally like I think like... 500 to 750 words like okay that's that's simple <laughs> all right so anyway we are done here so i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of daily duels i i i tried to one up him and he one up me gg you know what he deserves it he deserves it because i i was sacking the shit out of him and in the end he he got me yeah that kendama fucked me the shock surprise fucked me he just had the plays to out me so but the deck was working too terribly it really wasn't and it was just fucking shock surprise like i one, yeah, I expect one. Two, yeah, sure. Three, no, I don't. I, I, I no one plays three shots of price. No one, no one. But fuck me, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I will see you guys tomorrow playing erotics tagging. So we're running out of episodes. It's what nine eighty eight. Running episodes. Soon Daily Duels will be over. Rip. All right, people. Thanks for watching.